The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important news for today. Good day. Chairman of the National Council of Western Armenia, Armena Gabrahamian, met with the displaced residents of Artsakh. Azerbaijan committed violence and murders in the settlements of Artsakh. We and our place names from the forgotten pages of history of Armenian legend. Komitas works are registered in UNESCO's Memory of the World International Register book. Sportsman from Artsakh wins in the ring. Berzor Church will be transformed into a mosque. On January 27, 2024, the National Council of Western Armenia, President Mr. Armenak Abrahamian met with forcibly displaced Armenians from Artsakh in Yerevan office of the Republic of Western Armenia. Most of them had already submitted their application to the Yerevan office of Western Armenia to be directed to European Parliament. The meeting was attended by more than 60 Armenians from Artsakh who joined to Mr. Armena Gabrahamian as an authorized person, approved by them to represent the interest in the European Court of Human Rights. During the meeting, Mr. Abrahamian presented details on the cases which were submitted to the European Court there and stated those people who were forcibly displaced from Artsakh in 2023 can join this struggle against Baku authorities. Ashut Hayatunyan, the head of Shushi Patriotic Union, spoke at the meeting about the creation of the Patriotic Union, its problems and free proposals put forward. With the support of France to open an educational institution in Yerevan, named after Misak Manushan, where children of Artsakh will study and create jobs for Artsakh, people forcibly displaced from Artsakh. To create a comp compact community for those people who were forcibly displaced from Shushi. Like their community, the other Artsakh citizens displaced from Artsakh should also create their patriotic unions. Mr. Armenak Abrahamian answered all the questions. In the end, they decided to create an executive body that will regulate the issues on the forcibly displaced people from Artsakh. Azerbaijan committed violence and murders in the settlements of Artsakh. Facts on it. Marta Sahakyan, a resident of Chartar, told reporters that with great difficulty she left her native Chartar with her three children and they were armed Azerbaijan on the roads who made an fear atmosphere. On the way from Chartar to Stepanakert, Kamo Balayan was beaten by the Azerbaijan military forces. Three Azerbaijan soldiers beat him and the Azerbaijan side installed two checkpoints on that road after September 19. Kamu Balayan presented terrible episodes from the action of the Azerbaijan servicemen, how they abused him, threw him on the ground and kicked him for five minutes. All the described cases should have been de dealt by the law enforcement agencies and even if it is assumed that all these people are lying, the information provided by them should have been verified. Armenian place names are among the most sacred rights inherited by the Armenian people, like Armenian historical monuments, Armenian manuscripts and books. Armenian place names are valuable part in the cultural heritage of the Armenian people, most of which are located in the territory of Western Armenia that was occupied by the Turks. Chronologically, Armenian place names are mentioned starting from the cuneiform period and, re and reaching their present day. They are mentioned in the Urartian period, in the Middle Ages, a fortress in the Vasburakan world of Greater Armenia, Hagarzi, a monastery in the Gugark world of Greater Armenia, in the modern period, Ansak, a village in the Van province of Western Armenia, Kazvan, a city in the Kars region. Historical Armenia, being in the areas of contact between the East and the West, has been subjected to the conquest of foreigners many times. And during each invasion name, Changes were made, often giving um, arbitrary names to the place names of the Armenian world, as a result of which more than 10 layers of place names appeared in the territory of Armenian and Armenian Urartian. Western Armenia TV, being a supporter and defender of Armenia, will try to present Armenian place names which have been distorted over the centuries in the We and Our Place Names series. On the basis of the agreement signed in London between Sikes and Jeb Picot and the head of the Armenian national delegation, Pogos Nubar Armenians of the Kilikia, were to be given on to autonomy by the promise of France. In return for the participation of the Armenian Legion Battalion operating under the command of French officers in the French army against the Ottoman Empire, an Armenian politician and historian, Mikhail Vartanian, born in Shushi province in his letter written in 1915 to Mikhail Vartanian, an Armenian politician and historian, born in Shushi province, Pogos Nubar, expressed hope that these volunteers fighting on the side of Antan state can give us right to our voices to be heard when the time comes to express our opinion and modest demands. 
The ranks of these warriors simply called volunteers, but our Armenians were later joined by many of the brave participants of the heroic battle of Mount Musa, who took refugee in Egypt in Port Said, where in total of survivors of the defenders were transferred. The formation of battalion, the Armenian Legion, carried out particularly significant victorious operations on the Middle East front. In Adana, Western Armenia, in Arara, near the village of Rafat, in the impregnable hill range Palestine, 25 Armenian soldiers were awarded the combat cross by the commando for their bravery and bloody battle of Arara. There were 5,000 Armenian fighters in the 4th Battalion created in Beirut in 1918. In the Ottoman Empire, more than 300,000 Armenian soldiers living in Western Armenia were killed after serving in labor battalions. It should be noted that after being called the Oriental Legion, Legion d'Orienti, for some time from February 1, 1919, it was again renamed the Armenian Legion until its disbandment on September 1, 1920. After the publication of special decree, members of this uh, detachment could uh, then enlist under a new contract in the French Army's Foreign Legion. Still exists today. More than 50,000 Armenians conscripted into the armies of France, England, and the USA during the First World War made history with their bravery and courage. And they, like the Haikazuns, who fought in the armies of other countries and their descendants, are still waiting for the correction of some pages of the history. Comitas works are registered in UNESCO's Memory of the World International Re Register Book. According to the decision of the UNESCO Executive Board, the work of Reverend Comitas were registered in the UNESCO Memory of the World International Register Book. Comitas Museum Director Nikolai Kostandian announced this during the press conference, noting that this event coincided with the ninth anniversary of the museum's foundation. The registration of Comitas works in the UN UNESCO International Register is very binding. This was possible f due to the seven, eight years of hard work and cooperation with the museum, the Ministry of Education and Culture, and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The Minister of Education and Science and Sport, Jean Andresen, noted that similar processes require long terms and consistent work involving ver various departments. Noted that she hoped that this will be a very good opportunity for everybody of us to reevaluate and make sense of the heritage that we have. The athlete representing the Mixed Martial Arts Federation of Armenia participated in the tournaments organized in Tiflis, Georgia. The Republic of Armenia presented three athletes, Artyom Zakeyan and Artyom Hayatunyan and David Khachadurian, from Artsakh competed in professional fights. David Khachadurian proved his superiority during the exciting fight held in Georgia fighting promotion organization and defeated Georgi Kervalidze with uh, tactical skill. The victory highlights the outstanding skills of our athletes. Evidence of another manifestation of Baku's policy of destruction of Armenian heritage at the state level has become available. The video published on social networks have confirmed that the suspicion that arose in 2021 that the Church of the Holy Resurrection of Berzor will be turned into a mosque. Now the church surrounded by the construction mosques and construction works are being carried out in the area. It is clear from the published project that the church will be transformed into a mosque with two miner. This was all for today. Goodbye. Oh,